So, in this video, I'm going to attempt to um, revive the real time clock chip in this old Pentium computer here because the battery is built into that chip there and it's died, not keeping its settings. Um, so, first things first, oh, this chip's socketed on this motherboard, thankfully. Um, so, I'll, I'll remove it and we can start working on it. So there's the chip removed and the battery is um, bang in the middle a couple of millimetres down so I'll start cutting it open now you don't want to cut too deep either it's almost there now um, battery's just under this little metal disc here as you can see we didn't cut very much away at all and there we go um, positive goes to the top bottom's negative so all I'm going to do now is um, solder a battery pack, uh, one that holds two double triple A batteries, positive to the top, negative to the bottom, and then I'll seal it in with hot glue so it's all insulated. Here we are now, um, wires are soldered on, going over a little three volt battery source, I haven't put any batteries in it yet. I'm just going to seal this up with hot glue, put some batteries in it, put it in the computer and dry her out. There we go, all fitted. Time to go and see if it works. Make sure that battery's set properly. That looks like it is. These Audi batteries are very good. The alkaline ones. They're cheap too. The way I like it. The battery, the first time around, will always show up as low. Now it should work fine. Thanks for watching.